We'll run through creating a part program now, and we'll start, as you always should, by creating a vertical edge in the upper left-hand corner of the oasis. The purpose of creating this vertical edge is to show where the bottom of the part is, and also to create an edge th that runs through the middle of the pedestal, which is our greatest focal point. I will right-click, click on Edge Properties, We'll track that edge, and we'll create a tracked horizontal edge. Right-clicking, go to Edge Properties, and Track Edge. The edge tracking feature is important because it will allow you to orient the part on the Oasis pedestal in not the exact same location every time and still have your tool windows track the edges of the part. So we'll start by creating a vertical edge at the first barb on this part. I'll go to my distance tool, go from the bottom of the part to the edge of this feature. We have our dimension instantly, but in order to write a part program, we'll also set up our tolerances and populate our nominal dimension, our plus minus dimension, which in this case is 0 0.005. And we also have the option at this point to populate a warning level. When I put in 20%, it will give us a warning level of 10% on the high side and 10% on the low side. The status here displays where that feature is in your range. If your part is out of tolerance, your status bar will be red. If the feature is within tolerance, but outside of your warning levels, the status bar will be yellow, indicating that you might need to make an adjustment to your tool. So I'll create a couple of more vertical edges here. Looking at our part print, we have a distance from this edge to this edge. Again, we have our dimension instantly. We'll go to our tolerance level and populate the nominal dimension, as well as our plus minus. When you're setting up tolerances, if you only put one dimension in the plus minus box, by default it will give you plus 005 minus 005. But you can have bilateral dimensions in that you could have a plus zero, minus 005, plus 005, minus zero, etc. So we have a second dimension on our part. I'll go ahead and create another vertical dimension. We'll tolerance that. And now we'll set some diameter dimensions that are on our print. I'll pick the diameter tool, hold down the left mouse button and drag. Again, we instantly have our dimension. I'll tolerance that dimension with the nominal and a plus minus of 0 0.005. And we have another diameter underneath of the flange. Tolerance that. Now on some part plans, they don't have a nominal dimension with a plus minus. They only have an upper and a lower limit. In which case, you would leave the three fields on the right unpopulated. You'd put your upper limit here, your lower limit here, and your tolerances would be set. Again, we'll use the corner tool to find the radius dimension on the upper corner. And we can tolerance that as well. And as we move through, we will end up with a fully dimensioned part print that we can now use over and over. We would go and save the part program, and then we would have it to use over and over again. Part programming is very easy. Any user can learn to use it, and anybody on the shop floor will be able to use the Oasis.